Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of surface area. This is standard 8.7b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 34 of the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a triangular base prism here, and they've given us the side lengths of the base, both in the problem, 5, 8, and 10, and they've also given them to us in this visual right here. And they've given us the height, so we didn't necessarily even need the picture, even though it is helpful. So we're looking at the lateral surface area, and we don't have any answer selections to choose from. So no F, G, H, or J to double check our work. We're going to figure it out on our own and bubble it in. So if we look for the lateral surface area of a prism, this is what we're going to find on our mathematics chart. P, H. Doesn't seem very helpful. Uh, so let's... Let's figure out how we can actually get that equation. So the lateral surface area is just the surface area of the three rectangles that, in, that, that touch or that connect the two bases. So my base is this triangle right here. We're going to exclude that. My other base is this other triangle. We're going to exclude that. We're looking for these rectangles here. So let's look at this first rectangle right here. All right, so we're going to look at this first side right here that I'm outlining. So it's going to be length times width, right? So that's going to be uh, 8 times, I've got my height of 16.5, base times height, right? All right, then I'm going to add this very skinny one up here in the front. So my base is 5 uh, times height, 16.5. And I've got this one in the back. Uh, the base is actually up on the top here. It's that 10, and then still the height. Uh, let's do 16, 10 times 16.5, not plus. Now, what do you see as common? Well, look at that. 16.5. 16.5, 16.5. So what you could do is you can actually factor that out. I'm going to bring out the 16.5. I'm going to multiply it by everything that's left. And what's left? I've got an 8 plus a 5 plus a 10. And guess what happens when you do 8 plus 5 plus 10? 8 plus 5 plus 10 are the three sides of my base, which means that's your perimeter, and you're multiplying it by the height. So that's where that comes from, is you can factor it out. So it's just basic math once we once we do that. So let's uh, let's just go ahead and do that. 16.5, 8 plus 5 is 13, so that's 23. That's it, 16.5 uh, times 23. And so we've got our calculators that we can use on this test. So let's go ahead and just do that. And that's going to equal 379.5. And we've got meters, and it's going to be squared, but we're just, obviously, we're just going to bubble in this. So when we're looking at our bubble charts, it's going to look something like that. We're going to have a very long and skinny column here that we can't do anything with. That's actually the decimal point. You get two spots to the right. And you get four spots to the left. You've got a plus minus over here on the left, and you don't really need to do anything with it unless you're actually using a negative. If not, it defaults back to positive. So one question might be, do I need to put anything in that hundredth spot? No, I would just leave that as a blank. If you put that 100 spot as a 0, that's going to be fine, but there's no need to do that. We're just going to do 379.5, and then just make sure you bubble in the correct bubbles underneath, and that's your answer.